hello everyone welcome back to my channel Oka love like y'all know how we do we're gonna hop right on into it so first let me show y'all my keto bread that i get from all these this is 10 carbs and 10 grams of fiber which means it's zero net carbs that bread is so good and so soft so today i'm just going to be making me an egg and sausage sandwich i am just going to add a little ghee because i ran out of my regular butter which i don't mind using ghee at all i used to love ghee when i first started keto this is the only butter i would use was ghee <laughs> And it did something right because that thing worked. I'm just going to season my egg with Italian seasoning, red pepper flakes, and we're going to let this cook through. And then I'm going to toast my bread, put my sausages on it, and I'm also going to add a little bit of cream cheese. So go ahead, y'all, get on into it, and I'll come back. Expectations of any man got my own explanations on why I'm skeptical and critical when it's good. But this time around, you broke me down like I never thought you could. I say, How come it's so easy? It's unlike I ever knew. You say, Cause it's right, believe me, I was to sound fear. All right, you guys, so I wanted to show you a new find. I found these protein wafer crisps. They are pretty good. I will say, though, for me, I don't like that protein taste, and I can taste it a lot in this one. So it's four net carbs, and it's 190 calories for one bar. I will say this bar makes you eat it slow because it's peanut butter, so it's thick. Peanut butter plus the protein, so it's like, it's, it's really thick. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. It's like dense, but it's so good. It is, well, hold on. Let me not get ahead of myself. It's not so good. It's okay. It'll curve that sweet tooth that you need. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Now for lunch, you guys, we are just going to steam us up some shrimp. So you want to put about three tablespoons of water in there. We're going to season it with Obey seasoning, parsley, and garlic powder. We're going to put the top on it and we're going to let the steam into our shrimp turn completely pink. And then we're going to put it in the bowl. Then we're going to make us some seafood sauce, which consists of about two and a half tablespoons of mayo, about a teaspoon of mustard, and maybe a tablespoon of hot sauce. I'm also going to season it with garlic powder and a little bit of parsley. So go ahead and get on into this and I'll come back. All 
All right, you guys. So now it is time to meal prep. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so a lot of you guys always ask me about my ginger tea. And I always forget to show you how I make it. I don't know why. I just assume people know how to make ginger tea. This is crazy of me. Don't mind me sometimes. I get a little beside myself. So look, let's not pay attention to that. Don't even mind me. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, we're going to take our ginger and we are going to peel it. Now, I take big pieces of ginger. I normally put a lot of ginger in a pot because I love the taste of ginger. But this time I didn't put as much as I normally do. Anyway, you're going to cut it up. Now, I cut some pieces, but I don't cut them all into small pieces. What I do do, though, is put slits in all of them. That way, it could kind of the water can kind of boil it really, really good. And that seems to get a strong, strong flavor. And what you also do is when we put this in a pot for it to boil, you can let it boil for as long as you want. I don't let it boil until the water like evaporates because then like where, where my ginger water go? Like where my ginger juice go? Where my ginger tea go? <laughs> so what I do is I let it boil until it get really hot and then I just turn it off and let the ginger sit. Now for me, I let it sit maybe for like maybe an hour or two or two to three hours it all depends on what I'm doing like I start this first before I start meal prepping that way as I'm meal prepping this can be sitting and then by the time I'm done I'll pour it inside the jugs my little jars that I have and by this time the ginger is cooled off so I also put the ginger pieces in there because I reuse them so after the first batch of it is gone I just repeat the same steps and then I pour it back into the mason jar so as you can see this is that amount I put in there I put it in a whole pot of water and I I let it get to boiling like this and then this is when I turn it off and let it cool so after that this is what it looks like look at that y'all I love ginger tea that's all it is all it is is boiled ginger and now if you want to really get fancy with it you can add some black tea to it too that makes it a little bit darker but I love it just like this the flavor y'all is so strong because then I let it sit overnight or I let it sit throughout the day inside the refrigerator <gasps> This flavor be so strong. And y'all, ginger helps so much with bloating. Oh my gosh, you do not feel bloated at all. Okay, so now that we done hyped up our ginger, we are going to move on to this meal prep. So I'm going to be making the breakfast scramble for the breakfast part of it. Now, if you are new here, I just chop up onion and tricolor peppers. And I use five eggs. I use about, I think this time I use seven banquet sausages. They're already cooked, so we're just going to chop them up and add this to it. My OGs, y'all already know how we do this. I think it was seven. It was eight. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I use eight of them so I still cut out that one egg and I am going to be cutting back on the sausage too I'm going to use seven that was my plan was to use seven but I couldn't leave one in a box so this is what it is so we're going to pop that in a pan with some avocado oil and then we're going to season it with some Cajun seasoning Italian seasoning red pepper flakes and parsley and then we are going to mix about eggs and add that to the mix we're going to add about a half a cup of shredded cheese to our eggs as well I've been thinking y'all for my next meal prep I might just do eggs egg bites if you've been here you know what my egg bites look like they are so good because I'm trying to think do I want to do them so I can just grab them on the go and I don't have a dish because for the egg bites you can just put them in sandwich bags and take them and you know take them out and heat them up and that's it so for this meal prep you have a dish that you warm in and put in the microwave so I might do that and that's a good tip for the ones who watch my videos and you guys are on the go egg bites are a really good one too because you don't have a dish you don't have it you can eat it in the car you can eat it while you're walking up the steps you can eat it anywhere <laughs> so this one is a little bit more you need to sit down and actually enjoy your breakfast but the egg bites is all these ingredients right here but it's just like a on-the-go version of it so i might make that next time for my meal prep for my newbies mm -hmm. see i got y'all too don't worry come on over here and stay i got you All 
All right, y'all. So for my next dish, I just added some chicken, um, some cut up chicken tenders, some shrimp, some green peppers, a little bit of onion, some yellow peppers. We are just making like a seasoned chicken and shrimp dish. It was really good though. My goodness, it was really good. So we're gonna season it with sassoon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Italian seasoning, chili, parsley, um, oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper. What else did I put in here? <laughs> a little bit of paprika because I was trying to make like a fajita seasoning and it let me tell y'all do not sleep on all these seasonings because this turned out so good I wish I had a little bit more lime though I didn't have no lime because I would have squeezed like lime juice on here so if you got some lime juice squeeze some lime juice on here oh and I also added turmeric so don't be fearful of the color and think like oh my god that is so spicy it was not spicy at all even with the chili powder it was not spicy it just gave it a nice rich flavor and it gave it a nice rich color but it was not hot at all so don't worry about that part you can also pair it with some broccoli now i just put it in a bowl with our favorite collie rice mm -hmm. y'all know how we are about our collie rice i'm gonna be making this again because i enjoyed this so much i enjoyed maybe because it was a different taste it tasted like fajita i i really enjoyed this y'all it was so good <laughs> it was really good <laughs> oh my god that just sounds so greedy to keep saying like it was so good <laughs> jesus All right, you guys, so grab those onions and peppers again. So this time we are just going to be using red and green pepper and onion. And we're going to chop it up because we're going to mix it with our ground turkey. Because we are just going to be making some seasoned ground turkey meat. That, that's all we're going to be making, y'all. Some seasoned ground turkey meat. And I'm going to pair it with some collie rice as well. I did have this for dinner too because it was some left over. And I purposely made it be some left over because I knew I wasn't making a different dinner. If I'm doing all this veal prep, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> you see how just the thought of it get me in my feelings uh-uh so we're gonna season our meat with cajun seasoning italian seasoning onion powder parsley and a little bit of paprika and then we are gonna mix it together well oh i forgot to say i did put a little bit of avocado oil in the pan we just gonna chop this all up so it could blend in really well together so go ahead get on into it and i'll come back So now that our meat is about 70% done, we are going to add kale. Yes. Yes, I say kale. It's only a little bit. And this is a good way to sneak you some kale into your meal. It's only a tad bit. And we're too old to be acting like, no, I can't eat kale in my meat. Yes, you can. You going to eat it to this week? Yes, you can. You don't even really taste the kale. Because all of the seasonings and the flavor from the meat takes over. So you don't even taste the kale. So put that dirt on kale up in this meat. Because we are growing up. We are, this year is 2024. We we are going to eat the things that are good for our body regardless of the taste. Because we eat the things that we love to taste that is not good for our body. So come on now. We want to something new this year. Now we are going to top it with a little bit of pink Himalaya salt. But that is it. So once that is done, we are going to steam us another bag of collie rice. And we're going to put this thing on in the bowl. And we are going to start to plate this. Oh wait. So is a bowl this because it's in a bowl? Or do you still say plate this? <laughs> Oh, 
Y'all look at her. Look at my shepherd. She wants some so bad. Anytime she smell meat, it's like, come on, ma'am. That's for me. <laughs> She's a mess. All right, so now that that is done, let me go ahead and plate my dinner. So I had to make some more collie rice, which I'm going to add more of this rice to those bowls as well. So I'm just going to put me some collie rice in a bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of lime, which I found in the back of the fridge after I cooked my shrimp and chicken fajita. Mm-hmm, now I want fine lime. Anyway, though, we're going to season with garlic powder, parsley, and red pepper flakes. You can add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt to this. I'm not going to do that since the meat is seasoned so well. So I don't need to do that. I'm just going to mix this together and I'm going to enjoy. All right, you guys so here is what everything looks like this is my breakfast mm -hmm. this can be lunch or dinner whichever one you want same goes for this one it could be lunch or dinner however you want to switch it up you might want to eat it for lunch one day eat it for dinner the next day you can switch it up and then here is my ginger tea i just put some sweetener in this one this time and here is my snacks i'm going to be eating these protein bars and of course i have some turkey pepperoni all right, you guys, so these meals would be 1,323 calories and 15 net carbs. Total carbs will be 25 grams. Mm -hmm. That is going to be the end of this video, you guys. If you are new here and you stayed this long, please consider subscribing to my OGs who keep coming back. Thank you so much for your love and support. You guys know how I feel about you. I really appreciate it. Please, you guys, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. I greatly appreciate it. I thank you guys for joining me. I thank you for sharing this space with me. And as always, I thank you for watching.